Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as, as I had promised, I'm going to discuss about how lawyers can immigrate to Canada, what are the different options available and what you should look into. So first of all, I want to say that I do not want to mislead anybody. Any student visa, any work visa, anything is not so easy the way it looks and the way it is. I'm going to tell you what are the different options that you can see. The first option is that you have to go through the normal immigration route. Like you have to calculate your score based on your points, CRS score. Just like I have shared a law, I have shared a video in the information express entry or PNP. Ki. And in that video, I will give it in the description box. Mein I'm going to give it to you. So that you can go and refer to those kind of immigration routes, right? Now, a lot of people ask me that how as a lawyer. So first of all, I want to tell you that there is no such thing that there is a special immigration route for lawyers. There is nothing as such. What lawyers have can do possibly is the way you can give your NCA exams in your respective countries and you can look into options of going to that particular province. Now, each province has its own way. For a matter of fact, I just know about one law, law practice program by the Ontario Law Society. Ontario, if you are coming to Ontario, you can research about law practice program. Ke ho. In fact, I have one video of Raghav sharing his inputs on LPP program and what it is and what are the different options. You can go check that out. I'm going to share the link in the description box. So, if you have seen those two videos, you will have a lot of clarity. In every video, you will get some information from the law and related to immigration. Se related zarur the third thing that I want to share is that law practice program ke liye sirf student visa You are going to get a one year student work visa and that is what the requirement of the law practice program is. Because instead of articling, it is like a substitute to articling. But people ask me if they are in India or if they are in India, they can articling position. Mil sakti hai then it is very difficult. I think it's next to impossible that no one will offer you an articling position offer karega without you having any kind of status in Canada. So I always repeat that you need to have status in Canada in order to secure a articling position. Now, law practice program, what is the process of law? Usually, what I have seen is that one year ka log student visa convert kar lete student visa uh, LPP ka lekar aate uske next year people tend to do some kind of one year another course maybe a masters or anything and then that makes it two years of complete study and then you can get a three years of work permit and thereafter permanent residency in between if you have work experience back home or anything maybe you can qualify for express entry depending on different person's profile but this is one of the very good uh, options for you to come and see and uh, explore Canadian options. Maybe you want to go back and, you know, back and forth, you have to options work out. Karne hai. But there is no straight jacket formula, if you ask me, of you immigrating to Canada. However, if you have lawyers' ki demand, kam rehti, it's a regulated profession. So what you can do is you can look into PNP options like you Saskatchewan ki PNP dekh sakte ho. Aap administration agar aap apply karte ho, to aap province nomination Alberta ki dekh sakte ho. Wo sari baat maine aapse na uh, us video mein kari hai, jiska maine aapko sabse pehle bataya. So you have to go work out your options and then come with questions, right? I am going to in my next vlog, some some of, in my next legal vlog, not my immigration vlogs, because I do vlog about my as a firm, me and Mr. Shahrukh, we vlog about ACE law. So what we do. So I want you to be very clear in your mind that you have to come in Canada with a legal status and how you can obtain that legal status is the process may be slow for you because your work experience is less or anything but you can come on a student visa. I think student visa is a very wonderful option but the law practice program requires that you have a SW visa milte hai, stamped and that is what you require because the law practice program ke core components are four months of uh, work component and four months of training. So, pehle training hoti aapke four months, which is mostly online now, and uh, then aapke four months of physical workplace uh, training hoti hai. So, wo law practice program by Ryerson University. Uska link I also am sharing in the description box, but this is specifically for Ontario. I am not sure about other provinces, what kind of other courses that they are available and whether you can come in Canada and do that course. But I, as a matter of fact, I do know that people come on visitor visa in on Canada and give the NC exams. People do come on bar uh, 
or give the bar exams on visitor visa so you can always work that option out as well so if you have any question query concern regarding that i please go and watch the link in the description box or you can put it in the comment section thanks bye for now and uh, in my next vlogs i'm going to take few of the common questions